What's going on guys, Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. I'm feeling a little under the weather, guys. I've had a sinus infection. But uh, after doing the residential stuff on the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 sponsor videos, a lot of you guys, homeowners out there, thinking about buying, purchasing new mowers. Wanted to see what this mower did and stood up to other machines on the market. So I reached out to Aaron's and they got an Icon 42 they're going to be letting us use the demo to put up against this machine right here. So let's go get that mower. What's going on guys? Why did I touch my mouth? What's going on everybody? Guys, voice gone. I've had like a sinus infection for the last couple of days. But we've been checking the comments out and you guys wanted to know, like is this better than this? Is this better than this? Is the Cub better than the John Deere or the Aaron's or whatever? I don't know. But what we did is we reached out to Aaron's and we asked if they would send us a comparable mower to the Cub Cadet Ultima. I think it's got a smaller deck on it, but this is another one of the box store residential mowers. And you guys kind of wanted to know which one's better. So me and Randy are getting ready to... So we're going to go to Kearney, just a couple towns over, to pick up the errands. And one thing I do want to mention on that, I had the option of getting a 52-inch and a 46-inch. Something of the, something of their Something like that. Could have been I'll, 42, 42, 46, something like that. Yeah, it's a smaller deck. We'll find out here when we get there. But the reason is, is because I don't have much width of storage back there. I mean, and not only that, because your previous mower was a 46, wasn't it? It was a 46. And you were telling me you like that smaller mower. You get a little bit more stripes. You get a cooler looking cut. So this is also going to be a, you know, judgment for Randy. Like, after he started using the 50-inch size mower, he started liking it a lot more. You, just, you start liking that you a lot more. You get stuff done. And that's what I was telling like the difference between a 50 and a 46, you're talking three passes and a big acre or something. I guess not that much of a difference. And in my personal opinion, I think a lot of the smaller decks, like a 36 compared to a 60, 36 is going to cut better. My reason for that is there's not as much deck space. It's easier to get grass in and out. So you don't have a lot of stuff going on in there. Not a lot of commotion, but we'll see, man. All right, guys. So we're going to head out to the dealership at Carney Lawn and Rental. They got the mower all set up and ready for us. Let's go pick this thing up. So guys, we're just getting back to Randy's house and this is the Icon X by Aaron's and this is in the 42 inch deck. And one of the reasons I was thinking we should have got the 42 inch deck on this is to me it seems like more of a residential platform. Smaller sizes, usually smaller yards, you may have some gates. 42s are going to get you through the majority of those gates, like the 46 inch gates and things like that. But yeah guys, let's get some shots of this mower real quick and this has never touched grass. After I get these shots, we're going to do a little bit of cutting with it. Talk about some of the features on this mower that we like off the bat. And like I said, we're going to pin this up and compare it with the Cub Cadet Ultima you see back there. So let's check this mower out. All right, guys, so we have the Aaron's Icon X42 out here in the field. This is the same field that we've been demoing all the Cub Cadet stuff on when we had it. And this machine has not cut grass at all yet. We haven't even turned the PTO on. But we're going to do a little bit of cutting just to kind of look at it. And we're going to bring both mowers out in the front and kind of talk about initial thoughts 
comparisons, things we kind of noticed with both of them real quick. But let's check out the initial PTO launch on the Icon X. Let's do it. Randall, is that you? It is. What are you doing? So we're going to pull my britches up. They're okay. falling down. It's, hum it's humid out here. That's what makes your pants fall down? Yeah. Humidity. So at this exact moment, me and Randy were noticing a dramatic cut quality difference between this Aaron's and the Cub Cadet. Hands down, this Aaron's model here cuts a lot better than the Cub Cadet. And that's what we were kind of noticing. So in the next clip coming up, we decided to get the Cub Cadet out, use the Aaron's as well, and mow his neighbor's property and just see if we can tell that distinct difference. Because the way I'm kind of feeling about these mowers at the moment, if you're looking for a machine that cuts really great, the Aaron's is the way to go. But the Cub Cadet may have a little bit more features. But let's check out that next clip. Alright guys, so we just got done playing around with both machines. We got the ZT1 out and the Icon 42, man. Back here at Randy's house. So we're going to talk about some of the subtle differences and things we like, you know, kind of about both. Just as another recap on initial thoughts. So initial thoughts on these, uh, you know, let's pretend that you just went into Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. The stores that sell Cub Cadet and the Aaron's, both of these residential models. You walk up to them and you try and figure out the differences. Most, almost 100% of your Z returns are going to be the same. They got nice seats. Uh, they steer the same. All the controls are same. Uh, on these two specifically, the deck height adjustments are the same. And of course, for the most part, all of your controls are going to be the same as, as far as your starter switch, your PTO, and your choke. Uh, both of these have hour meters on them. And again, like, like if I was just to go into Home Depot or Lowe's and look at these and try and figure these out to find out which one I would want, luckily I'm here and able to test both of these out. So I have some, uh, some good stuff for you guys. So when it comes to both of these, they both have comparable motors. This one's a 42 inch, this one's a 50 inch. They're both spinning three blades. So when you jump up into the 50 or 52, I'm not sure which one, you're gonna be getting the same mower, but you're gonna be getting the wider deck. Uh, hopefully they will come with larger tires as well. That's something that I would like to see. But when you're out shopping, just do a quick test. And you tell me which one's going to hold up a little bit better. All right, so we've ran both of these mowers, both in a field, in a nice backyard, and then in my backyard where it's got nice grass and it tumbles off into weeds. So we've ran the gamut of all kinds of grasses. Uh, this one definitely outperforms the Cub Cadet in cut quality. Uh, it's one of my main complaints about this is the cut quality. It leaves stragglers all over the place. This, the first time out, and this only has 10 hours on it, so the blades aren't like completely trash. And this one's brand new. I don't think that's really part of it yet, but this one definitely outperforms the Cub Cadet in cut quality. All right, keeping in mind that you're not supposed to take the deck chutes off or remove them, lift them up or whatever. It's going to happen from time to time where you need to squeeze up close to something. You just want to reach down and, and lift that chute up so that you can squeeze into places. Let me show you something on the Cub Cadet. That 
that's not the safest feature that I really like to see. But over here on the Aaron's icon, you can see that it's just a flat deck right there and nothing's going to happen no matter what you rub up against. There's nothing that's going to fling straight up out at you as we're on the Cub Cadet. That big open hole where you've got eight inches of blade sticking out there, something's going to pop up if you uh, mess with that. All right, now Aaron's has been around for a very long time. They haven't changed this mower for many years. And there's probably a reason for that because it works. Cub Cadet has spent a lot of time designing and putting ergonomics into this mower, but they've left out some things, the simple things. Let me take for uh, the seat, for instance. One little cable. One little cable will keep your seat from going all the way over. Now let's look, let's talk about the ease of maintenance. Once these seats come up, they're practically identical. Uh, you have your, your batteries are just as open, your gas tanks are open, your oil fills, your oil drains, they're all simply located on both of these. Even though this one looks like it's more open, this one is all accessible from right here. So you got your oil fill right here, your oil filter right here, and your oil drain. On this one here, you do have to add a hose to it to run it out. Uh, it's still just as easy to get to. It's just this one already has a hose on it. So both of these are the entry level mowers. You have the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 and you have the Icon X. You can step up into the ZT1 and the XL in the errands, but uh, simp there's a couple little differences on these. Uh, as far as the seat adjustments go, you have four positions on the Cub Cadet here and they're set positions, minor, minor guys. Up here you have an, imp an infinite position of, I don't know, about three inches, the same as a Cub Cadet. But on the Cub Cadet, on the ZT1, it does not come with armrests. You only get that in the ZT2 model. On the Icon X, entry level, you get armrests on this. So, you know, there are a little bit of better quality options on the X compared to the ZT1, uh, along with all of their differences. Uh, if you're just going out and looking at them, you need to do more than just look. Uh, read into the reviews. This is not a paid promotion. It's not a paid video, even though we were given this for demonstration purposes. Uh, you've seen my Cub Cadet mower videos. I don't pull any punches. I tell it how it is. And so far, I'm liking the Icon X as far as cut quality. I'm liking it a lot better and that's what it all comes down to is cut quality. What good is a mower if it doesn't cut? And what he's talking about does go a long way. Now I'm not going to knock Cub Cadet or their product in any way. It's not, it's not what I do. Just like you guys saw in the reviews, I gave this a B- for a reason. It is a new mower to the market. Styles, the way it is, the way it's built. It's a new mower. The Aaron's Icon X has been out for a while so any kinks they may have had with that mower I think are fixed because in my personal opinion, just like what you were saying, this thing cuts really good. It cuts a lot better than this machine does. So what they've done by changing this whole styling, making it open, easy access, that's cool. But when it comes to the purpose of what you're buying your mower for, and that's the cut, they kind of let that key feature kind of go on this, I feel. And along with that cut quality, there's a lot of variables. On the Icon X, you got four points of contact. On this, you don't. I'm a big guy. Now, it doesn't take much for me to get this deck up off the ground. And that comes into play hitting bumps, doing things in the yard. So you lose a lot of that vacuum and suction with your cut quality if you're driving at a de decent speed. With this one, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, if I stand on it with all my weight, being 270 pounds, it goes up in the air. But as far as normal cutting, it doesn't move. You don't get a lot of movement in this deck, which gives you a really good cut and it keeps its suction. With this, at least in my personal opinion, I feel that's where it's losing a lot of its cut quality when mowing, because there's a lot of vibrations and a lot of movement when you mow. And I just feel that deck has a hard time keeping its suction. I don't know if this is going to pick up the noise level out here. I sure hope it is. But on the Cub Cadet Ultima, you're definitely going to want to wear your earplugs. You're going to want to wear your earplugs no matter what anyway. I'll give you a demonstration. Actually, 
actually loud enough to actually hurt my ears. I do wear earplugs and uh, earbuds when I'm mowing this because it is loud. I hope that showed up on camera because this is at least half as quiet as the Cub. All right, if there's one thing that I could suggest on the errands, I hope that a lot of companies go to these adjustable handles. That, that's a nice feature. As far as everything else on here, I don't know, what can I say? So when you're looking at these at Home Depot, the MSRP on the Icon is gonna run 28. The MSRP on the Ultima ZT150 is gonna run 32. But if you want the Icon in a 52, it's gonna be the same price as the 50 inch, 32, $3,100 on the MSRP. You can find them cheaper than that if you shop around, find them on discounts, holidays or whatnot. But there's a lot of mowers out there, they all cut different. So make an informed decision when you're out there buying your mower. Do you want a mower that looks good and cuts eh, or do you want a mower that you know cuts good? Do your research and pick the one that's best for you. I'm gonna go with the Icon for now. And some other key features on these mowers, they both have fabricated decks, not stamped decks. They both have quick adjustments for the hydros. So if something does happen to your mower and you wanna be able to maneuver it, this has a couple little pins you can pull and this also has a couple little pins you can pull as far as being able to get these mowers to move. You do get a little bit beefier of a tire, a little bit more width, a little bit more height. That's hard to say, a little bit more. But this is a two-ply tire, which are more known for a little bit of punctures. This is a four-ply tire over here. So, I don't know. They both can get punctures either way, but you do get a little better as far as standard tire goes. One thing that I also want to mention, uh, Cub Cadet talks about the reinforcement bar that goes around the deck. On the Ultima ZT1, they put the reinforcement just around here on the outside. You don't get full reinforcement until you jump up into the ZT2. The uh, entry model on the Icon X, it has a reinforcement bar wrapped all around the front of the deck. And this is on their entry model. So yeah guys, just for the short amount of time we had playing with the new Icon X42 today, and we've spent uh, quite a while on the ZT1, and, it, and it's just the same, it does have some things that are cool the, the adjustments the openness to it it does have some key features but like we were saying when you're buying a mower man how does it cut and the icon x hands down cuts better than the cub cadet does in our area doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a make or break thing for you but in our area hands down the icon from aaron's does cut better and like randy was saying guys it's all about doing your research so yeah guys like always i appreciate you guys' comments man we had a lot of people that wanting us to uh, pin this brand new Ultima up against a couple different mowers. So I was able to reach out to Aaron's and they sent us this Icon X and a 42. And this is just our opinions guys on what we feel. They both have their pluses and minuses, but to me, cut quality means a lot, man. I want that fresh, flat, smooth cut that I just don't get with the Ultima, but I do with this. So I appreciate you guys leaving the comments, man. We'll have more videos pinning these mowers up against each other. This is just a quick little initial thing. The grass wasn't super tall, so you don't get to really get to see a giant depth of cut quality, but for what we were cutting, there was a difference. So like always, guys, leave comments, hit the like button, make sure you smash that subscribe button, and you know, there's a good chance that uh, I'll see you in the next one. She's a monster. Check your body, check your body, check your body, check your body.